How's it going everyone? JKXVX here. We're not back on Forza Horizon 4 today. Today we're doing something a bit different from what we usually do. As you all know, we usually play the latest... Shut up, Windows. We usually play the latest Forza game. However, I come up with an idea a few weeks ago to play the very first Forza ever created. Now, as we know, there's a Forza Motorsport series and a Forza Horizon series. Now, Forza Horizon 1 isn't that old. Lots of people have actually played that. However, Forza Motorsport 1 is even older. Forza Motorsport 1 was released in May 2005. That's nearly 14 years ago, and I've managed to get my hands on it. Forza Motorsport 1 is only playable on the classic old Xbox, the standard bog-standard Xbox, which I'll have a picture of on screen. And I ordered one just to play Forza Motorsport 1, which I have right here. Now I've got the Xbox plugged in, it's all set up to the Legato and I'm going to turn it on for the first time and we're going to see on our screens the standard classic Xbox startup. So let me just quickly turn the Xbox on. There we go. Ooh, it's gone black. Ooh. Oh my goodness me. That brings back some memories. I've already got the game in. By the way, look at the size of that controller. Compare it to an Xbox One controller. It's huge. So this is what I'm going to be playing on. My goodness, it feels weird. But this is the standard Xbox. And we actually have to set up the date by the looks of it to uh, actually play the game that we bought. Here we go, boys. Wow, that is an old logo. Can I click A to continue, or is this a cutscene? Oh, haha! <laughs> now, I will say, I had a quick peek at this on stream with a couple of people a few days ago, but I didn't have any sound. It was in black and white, it was on an old TV, but now this is my first proper time playing it properly. You can see I've, I've got zero credits or anything, level zero. Right, I've turned the music off. Arcade mode, career mode. Multiplayer, time trials, and free run? <gasps> That's a lot more options than I thought. Bearing in mind this was released 13 years ago. Let's just try free run for now. And um, just see what the game's like. Hot lap. Let's just do a hot lap, get into a race, why not? So Maple Valley. Is that? No, that's not Suzuka, I thought it was. Silverstone, Road Atlanta 2. New York? Oh! Alpine Ring, Laguna Seca is in there, that's a good one. Sunset Pennsylvania Oval Track. There are some right good tracks on this. What's that? Rio de Janeiro. I think we're going to have to start off with New York. There's an actual New York track. Why can't we have this in Forza Motorsport 7? This is strange. Choose a car from your garage. I don't have any in there. I hope I can rent them. I don't have to own them, do I? Ah, here we go. Yes, an RS6. These are all racing cars. What about S-Class? Maybe S-Class will show us. Um, ah, here we go. The Mercedes SLR. That's a rapid beast, that is. Corvette. Pagani Zonda. A Zonda's in here. A Viper. The Carrera GT. Wow, that has a high top speed. I've never even heard of that thing. The Chrysler ME412. We're going to have to go in the Koenigsegg. We'll start off in the Koenigsegg. I just realised I went straight past the assists then. I hope they were on something normal. Oh, here we go. That was a quick loading screen. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to... Oh, hang on. Start race. Oh, my word. Oh, is it on manual? Oh, there we go. It's on manual. I didn't even realise that. It's put me straight on manual. Maybe I did that accidentally when we had a look at it a couple of days ago. This feels so strange. I can't even see the end of the corner. I can't even see the end of the track. Oh! I mean, obviously, there's not really anything on this game that's better than any of the, uh, the latest Forzas. Apart from the car sounds. For a 13 year old game, these graphics, they're not too bad really. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Whoa. 
Oh, the bumper's actually come off. We don't get that in any of the new, newest games. The door's coming off as well. I'm excited. I want to. I want to play different tracks, different cars. There's so much on this game. This first brief look at the game will probably just be on some tracks I'm desperate to try and some specific cars we miss. If there's enough likes on this video, I'll do a second part to this video where we do some other game modes and stuff. Because at the moment, what else should we try? I want to try the Enzo. Yeah, we're going to try the Enzo at Tokyo. Oh, here we go. That sounds odd. Whoa! Whoa, I don't know where I'm going. Let's see what the buttons do. Okay, the D-pad doesn't do anything. Clicking down doesn't do anything. That changes the gears. Oh! Aha! So we don't have an interior view. Ah, I'm not surprised though, to be honest, for a game this old. I'm going really gentle on the throttle when I could be going flat out. Um, sorry, on the brakes, I mean. I'm used to having ABS, so I usually need to be careful. Whoa, look at this! Flat out! Okay, let's try... <gasps> Hang on a minute. 2004. It's the Toyota Supra in this game. Bear with us. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Silverstone. Let's go to Silverstone. Please tell me the Supra's in this game. It would probably be a B class, I think. Uh, the Nissan 6330Z. 350Z, I mean, sorry. The RX7. Uh, <gasps> yes! The twin turbo Supra. The Honda NXR, NSX, sorry. Oh, boys. 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 Uh, yeah, let's have all that like that. Supra. Oh, yes. Our favourite. Our favourite. Oh, boys. Hey, you can't really drift on this game, that's for sure. It doesn't seem like drifting is actually very easy. I've got traction and stability control off, but it just seems to correct yourself a bit too easily. I suppose the, the physics aren't going to be fantastic on here, are they? I want the back end to stay out. There we go. <laughs> Oh. I mean, for f nearly 14 years ago, so that means that probably around 15, 16 years ago, this game was being worked on. And it's pretty impressive. They've got all the licensed cars in there, Ferrari, Toyota, Nissan, Mercedes-Benz. I think they've got McLaren as well, if I'm not mistaken. Oh! So it's all right. As I said, if we get enough likes on this video, we'll do a part two. I'll have a look at some other bits and bobs on this game. Have a look at some other cars. If you want any specific cars, recommend them below. And we may even have a look at Forza Motorsport 2 as well. There's... Oh. Power! Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is cool. There's one more car I want to try before we uh, end this off. This is just a little video. Just exploring Forza Motorsport 1. Let's go to Maple Valley. I would like to try one of these really fast cars here. Because these could be pretty fun. That sounds wicked. Oh, you can tell that's rapid. Whoa! That nearly does 100 miles an hour in first gear. Whoa! They're handling on this thing. <laughs> These controls are very strange. 
This thing handles like a right beast, this does. I'm surprised I'm doing it so well. I suppose it is the race car. Oh, brake! Squealing around the corner with 100 plus miles an hour. Oh my word. Uh. No. The car sounds are very flat on this game. There's no variety of the, the tone you hear. It's just kind of the same tone but high pitched and low pitched, which again, for a 13 and a half year old game, that's pretty impressive. I'm sure there's a lot of people here that aren't even 13 and a half years old. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, so far, I think the game's pretty decent. I'm just going to... Oh, what's this? Home region. What? So you can... That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, so depending on which place you choose, the cars get rarer. That's very weird. Let me just check, was it actually made by Turn 10 back then? It had multiplayer as well. I mean, look at the list of cars that they had licenses from. That's probably not going to focus. There you go. There's loads. Like all the main ones, Toyota, Lotus, Mitsubishi, Nissan. It doesn't actually say Turn 10 anywhere. But it says Microsoft Game Studios, so I presume, oh, there's a little booklet here. Wow, that's incredible. In the book, it, it it literally tells you how to drive. It gives you so many tips of how to drive through the actual... That's incredible. The amount of detail in here. Lead game designer. Dan. Dan Greenwalt. Greenwalt? I believe that's how you say it. I believe Dan. Yeah, there he is. He's still, to this day works on Forza Garrett Young as well I've not heard of him that's interesting that is that is interesting people have stuck by Forza since 2005 but anyway guys that's going to be it for the first episode of playing around on Forza Motorsport 1 if this gets enough lights enough attention we'll play on it again we'll try some different game modes and some different cars out and if we really want to, I may try to get Forza Motorsport 2 as well, which is the one up from this, to see how much they've improved. But yeah, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all in the next video.